Hey, good morning Central Kids. I'm so glad that you can be here this morning with me. Um, we have a fun devotion plan today. We're actually going to be talking about the Holy Spirit. Now maybe you've heard about God and you know that He created us and He created uh, um, the earth and just everything that's in it. It's so awesome. And, and then you heard about Jesus and you believe in Him and you know that He gave His life for you and for me. And maybe you've heard about the Holy Spirit but you're a little unsure of what that means. And who that is. And so we're actually going to talk about that today. So if you guys have your Bibles, I want you to jump into John chapter 16, verses 13, and we're going to read a little bit about the Holy Spirit and what his purpose is in our lives. Okay, so it reads this, but when he, the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak only what he hears and he will tell you what is yet to come, right? So basically what's happening here is Jesus is with his disciples, okay? And he's telling them, listen, I'm going to go away, but don't worry, I'm going to send the Holy Spirit. And here is his purpose. He, so the Holy Spirit is a person, okay? And we know um, from our previous lessons and out of Ephesians, when you believe in Jesus, that he gave his life for you on the cross, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit comes he lives inside of us. He is a person. And it says this, He will guide you into all truth. Okay? So we know that the Holy Spirit is like our guide. Okay? Um, imagine this, okay? Have you ever gone to uh, a different city, right? And, and maybe you need to get to Walmart, okay? And we all have smartphones or something that has maps on it, okay? Imagine if I don't use this. If I just hop in my car and I drive down, um, you know, the town and I'm trying to find the closest Walmart. I might drive around forever and never find it, okay? Maybe I do end up finding it. And once I do, odds are I'm probably going to be pretty frustrated. But if I take my smartphone and I go into Maps and I type in the nearest Walmart, it's going to tell me directly where to go. That's like the Holy Spirit in our lives, you guys. If we have Him, all we have to do is trust in Him and He will guide us into truth. We don't have to drive around or get confused or do all these things to try and end up there. He is going to show us how to get there, okay? And maybe you're wondering, well, what is truth? Well, truth is opposite of sin, right? We know that sin is disobedience to God, and that's a very bad thing. That's why Jesus had to come, and He died on the cross was because of our sin and our disobedience. And so it's important that we don't keep making the same mistakes. And so we have a, a fun little demonstration. I, I went ahead and bought this RC truck. And uh, we're going to see how this um, kind of relates to the Holy Spirit in our lives, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and take this out, and hopefully you guys can see it pretty well. Okay? And so I'm going to set this down over here. And so we have this truck, okay? Now imagine that this truck is actually you, okay? And let me get this set up real quick just so it works a little better. And so this truck represents you, represents me, anybody who believes in Jesus and has the Holy Spirit, right? And then we have this remote, okay? Now this remote represents the Holy Spirit, okay? This is our guide. Without this remote, this truck right here, you or me, we don't know where to go, we don't know what to do, and it's really hard to stay away from sin if we don't have the Holy Spirit, okay? And so let me get this set up real quick, and we're going to do a little demonstration, right? Let's see here. If I don't break it. All right. Now this already has batteries in it because I uh, I've been playing around with this because I'm kind of a kid at heart. And so we're going to go ahead and turn this on. Okay. And so here is you. Here is the Holy Spirit. Now imagine that Jesus, and I am not Jesus by any means, but He is the one controlling this, okay? And we have this fun little course set up here, okay? And you can see it's going, okay? We are going to listen to the Holy Spirit, right? The Holy Spirit is going to guide us down this track, okay? And we got to be careful because sometimes if we get going too fast and we don't listen to the Holy Spirit, we can fall off, we can run into sin and really get into trouble, but... If we listen to the Holy Spirit, okay, and we just go nice and easy, He can take us right where we need to go, okay? And He'll tell us when we get close to the edge, 
Hey, guys, it's time to back up. You're getting really close to falling off the edge in the sim, okay? And he will guide you wherever you need to go. And so that's the purpose of the Holy Spirit, right? And if we, uh, we don't listen to him, what ends up happening is, you know, we end up running into sin and all of a sudden we start falling off and we get into serious trouble, you guys. So it's so important. And maybe you're wondering, well, how do I listen to the Holy Spirit? Does he speak to me? Does he, what, what am I supposed to watch out for? Well, have you guys ever done something that you know you're not supposed to? Or maybe, you, maybe you're going to go take something that isn't yours and you get that feeling inside that says, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, this is not right. That is not yours, do not take it. Listen, that's the Holy Spirit coming up inside of you saying, hey, this isn't wrong, this is not what Jesus would want you to do. And so that's the Holy Spirit talking to us. Now maybe that, that's just one example. Another one could be maybe Jesus um, is speaking to the Holy Spirit that he wants you to talk to um, a person at school. Maybe he is a, a kid that nobody hangs out with. Maybe he's bullied. And, and Jesus is, is asking you to, to stand up and to, to be that light in his life. And the Holy Spirit is going to guide you in what to say to him, how to talk to that person. So that is the Holy Spirit, right? He guides us in all truth. And so I, got, I want you guys to be praying to, to really see how God would speak to the Holy Spirit to talk to you in life, um, to see you know, how he can use you. And so uh, I'm just going to pray for you guys. And then after that, I'm going to ask you guys to join Pastor Cody. Um, he's got a great message for you guys and for the family. And so if you guys could come together and, and worship and listen to that and maybe even discuss it afterwards, that would be awesome. But uh, please join me in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we just thank you. And Lord, we thank you that you sent the Holy Spirit in our lives, God. We are so thankful for him and that he guides us into all truth. And Lord, if uh, you, you need to kind of redirect us, I pray you would do that, Lord. Help us to, uh, to walk in righteousness, God, to uh, be obedient to the things, Holy Spirit, that you are calling us to. And Father, we just lift up this day to you, God, this time. And Father, we pray that uh, you just be with us the rest of the week. God, it's in your mighty name we gather. Amen. So guys, I'm so thankful you joined me this Sunday morning. And uh, yeah, stick around because Pastor Cody has an awesome message for your family. Thank you.